Hi guys, I'm a Forrester here with another fountain pen review. I brought you reviews in the past of name brand pens like Lamy and Conklin, but today I want to show you a pen that my wife gave me as a gift. This is a kit pen made by a gentleman in the community. Since it's not a name brand, I'm going to call it my Olive Wood Fountain Pen. Let's go to the tabletop for a closer look. Okay, here we are at the review table, and let's take a closer look at this beautiful pen. And of course, the first thing that you're going to notice is that beautiful wood grain. I'll turn it slowly so you can appreciate it. But this is olive wood, and what makes it even more unique is that it comes from the little town of Bethlehem. Yeah, that one in Israel. Now, I was concerned when I first found out, are they cutting olive trees for manufacturing in Israel, and maybe they are. But here's a certificate of authenticity that came with it. I'll hold it up there so you can read it. Does verify that it came from Bethlehem. And there's a company with a website down here at the bottom that you can go and read about it. But they do say no trees were damaged or destroyed in the process of harvesting in this all of this olive wood. So I think what they use, I went to the website and it looks like they use mainly prunings and an occasional tree that died naturally. Now, let me show you what came with it. And here is the card for the gentleman that uh, made this pen. His name is Jim Lindler and he's in Chapin, South Carolina, if you want to have one made for yourself. But here's what came with it, and of course there were several ink cartridges, and then there was a cartridge converter that I haven't used yet. What I'm trying to do is experiment a little bit with using ink and a needle to refill individual cartridges. Well, let's take a look, and this is a somewhat heavy pen. It's not too heavy. It doesn't bother me carrying it in my pocket, but it's made from wood and also um, metal. Now the finials on the top, that's a shiny gold finial. Same thing on the bottom. Very attractive. The metal parts are what I would call a gun metal and a gold or pewter colored. There's a lot of parts that screw together. Let me show this uh, clip while I'm here. The clip is fairly tight, but it keeps the pen in your pocket. It's easy to get it in and out. The cap screws on at the bottom and also when you're posting it, so it's in a very secure in place. The part that the cap screws onto, this finial unscrews. I won't unscrew it all the way, but it unscrews there to give access into the, to the uh, ink. Let me unscrew this and show Right now, like I said, I just have an ink cartridge, and this is filled with Heart of Darkness ink using a needle. And I hope there's enough ink in there for the writing sample. I think there will be. Now, this nib is interesting. I tried to find information out about the nib. Jim said that he thinks it's a medium. I think it's probably a fine, but it was made in Germany, and it has an iridium tip on it. I think it's a very attractive nib. Let me see if I can't get it in the light to where you can see it. And I will say to the naked eye, I can even tell that the tines of the nib are not in, in alignment. And I can tell some scratchiness when I'm going from right to left. All right, that's the pen. Now let's go to a writing sample. Okay, it's time for a writing sample, and I'll be using this Rhodia notepad. And I'm going to go ahead and post the pen for this writing sample. Now, since this isn't a name brand pen, I'm going to name it, as I said, my olive wood pen. And the ink that I'm using is one that I've used a lot in my reviews. It's the Heart of Darkness. And I hope my ink doesn't run out while I'm doing this uh, writing sample. Let's just see how it writes straight up and down. And that's as smooth as can be, no problem. 
and then let's go slanted and backwards and that's where I start seeing some scratchiness when I'm going backwards that direction. It writes fairly smoothly. Okay, I try to pick a quote that matches each pen since this one deals with olive wood and my channel also is about guns I found a quote that I think is relevant. I come bearing an olive branch in one hand and the freedom fighter's gun in the other. Do not let the olive branch fall from my hand. Some of you may be old enough to remember who said that. And of course it was Yasser Arafat. Guys, I did want to mention that it is important to use a product like a fountain pen for a good while before you review it. I always try to do that and I've had this pen now probably for two or three months and been using it that long. This pen, if I had reviewed it when I first got it as a gift from my wife, I probably would have rated it a little worse on how scratchy it was. It was actually worse than scratchy. Going from right to left, it would catch into the paper because the tines were out of a line. But working with it and writing with it for several months, it's gotten much better and now it's just a little bit scratchy in one direction. But you saw I had no problems at all writing with it and it was wrote very smoothly. So it does pay to go ahead and use a product for a while before reviewing it. If you happen to want a pen like this, get in touch with Jim Lindler. I gave you his contact information, but you can get it right there. He's in Chapin, South Carolina, and he'll be glad to hook you up. I'll talk to you all later. Take care.